Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. I'm on a low carb diet guys and now this is an amazing recipe I'm just yumming away. Check this out. Tender lamb chops. Look at the meat falling off the bone, melting your mouth. Mmm. Wow. Falling off the bone. Now I'm on a low carb diet, as you know. Carnivore keto inspired dishes. This is an amazing dish with a lovely broth as well. If you enjoy what I do, like, share, and subscribe, and ch stay tuned for all of this recipe. So these are the amazing lamb chops. It's still got its fat on. Now this brings out the, all that flavor. All that fat is gonna render out and get, make an amazing flavor. And we're using loaf, not potatoes. As you know, this dish is cooked with potatoes. I'm just going to be using onions, tomatoes, green chilies, and a blend of my spices, lemon juice, and a little bit of olive oil for flavor. So let's start cooking. Beautiful. Right now let's chuck in these spices. So that's black pepper, a half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of cumin, about just less than one teaspoon of uh, salt. We're using garlic, ginger, and for a bit of uh, fragrance, we're using uh, oregano. I love the flavor of oregano and the fragrance. Beautiful. Spice has gone in now, a good olive oil, so about one teaspoon, tablespoon. We're going to juice a lemon, about half. There you go, give this all a mix. So onto the pressure cooker. Now we're going to put some onions. Traditionally, this has potatoes. However, I'm trying to stay away from the carbs. So therefore, just keep it out. So there you go. Tomatoes and onions. So now the marinated lamb. Look at that. Wonderful. Just place them on top of the onions and the tomatoes. Go, just put this marinade in. About four green chilies. It's just gonna bring a bit of flavor and spice. There you go. And I'm just gonna add a cup of boiling water. There you go. Put the lid on. Turn the gas on. Smell up. Now I'm going to cook it on a high heat for a good 10 minutes and then I'm going to put it on a very low heat for a good 20 minutes and that should be cooking done. Right, all your amazing home chefs, if you can see some of the steam is coming out, it's literally been 8 minutes or so. Because I put the hot water, uh, I needed uh, 10 minutes basically just for uh, the pressure to build up. Once the pressure is built up, it just softens all the meat. So now, it's been about 8 minutes or so. I'm going to turn the gas right down. Put it goes on high. Now put it on a low heat. Now I'm going to cook this on a low heat for about 20 minutes or so. Right, amazing chefs. As you can see, the steam is coming. It's been a good 20 minutes. Now I'm going to turn the gas off and let it rest for a good 10 minutes before I open it until all that steam comes out and just let, let it chill out for a bit. Amazing. 
There's a bit too much water. I should have just added half a cup. I was a bit too excited. But I can eat the rest for like soup. Beautiful. Look at that. A lovely broth as well as the lamb. Beautiful, amazing, happy with that. Look at this guys. Look at that. Lamb in its stock, onions, tomatoes, and a lovely little broth. This is beautiful, very hearty. And this is a fantastic low carb idea for you guys to enjoy at home. Now let's give this a taste. Right. This is like an amazing stew, uh, stroke soup, stroke curry. This is beautiful. Mouth is watering. Now, bismillah. Let's taste the yakhni, which is the stock. Oh, the, it's very hot. There you go. I got my tea towel. Now, let me try this. Bismillah. Wow. Salty, lemony, wow. It's got that like, like a tanning sort of, oh, this is so nice. This is so some, something so different. Not a curry, because look at that. See it there? Amazing. Amazing broth. Now let me try the lamb. This is sort of going to come falling off the bone because of the pressure cooker. Oh, mate. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful piece of meat. Now, let's give this a taste. That fat rendered out to the sauce. I'm going to enjoy every bit of this. Mmm. Wow. Delicious. Falling off the bo bone, melt in your mouth. Lots of ginger and garlic. Plenty of salt. Lovely bit of cumin. Cumin and lamb goes gorgeous. Wow. I wish I can eat like this. And the weight to come off. Well, I'm praying for it anyway. If you enjoy these low carb, keto carnivore inspired dishes let me know in the comment section i've been eating uh, tin mackerels in an omelet and stuff like that so if you want any of those recipes let me know in the comment section and i'd love to cook them for you hope you enjoyed it see you soon